Today we're going to talk about one of the easiest ways to add a decorative touch to your projects and that's with inlay strips. You've probably seen them in a lot of different projects, often used on tabletops as a perimeter frame, but I'm going to show you one of the easiest applications which is to use them around the outside edge of a project as a decorative band. For example, this game table. Okay, let's get started. In this case, we're going to be using a really simple type of inlay strip, which is this straight band. There's no repeating pattern to it. But if you choose to use one, like one of these two, where you've got a repeating pattern, you're going to have to consider the layout in terms of where it hits corners or meets in a miter. The most important consideration with the blade is that it leaves a flat bottom in the groove. There are certain blades that have a high ATB that will leave a little peak in the kerf, that's what you don't want. You want a nice flat bottom for the inlay to adhere to. So we've chosen a blade that has a grind on some of the teeth that's flat and that leaves a nice flat bottom groove. This inlay is very thin, I mean it's a 32nd of an inch or less and so to set the blade height we're going to start with it below the table and raise it up so we just feel it above the table. Then I'm going to make a pass with our scrap piece, bump the fence over, make another pass to widen the groove until I've got a groove wide enough to fit this inlay and test the depth. Now that we have the height of the blade established, we're going to figure out the width of the groove. To do that, I'm going to use this scrap piece again. I'm going to set the fence so that the outside of the blade aligns with where we want the actual groove to be on our finished workpiece. I'm going to make a pass, then I'm going to tap out the fence, make another pass, and continue that process testing the inlay until we have a perfect width. When we find that, I'm going to mark that fence position on the throat plate. Then I'll know exactly where to move the fence when we're cutting the actual project pieces. I'll be able to make my first cut, slide the fence over to the mark, and I'll have a perfect width groove for my inlay. Now that we've got the blade height and the fence positions all figured out, we're ready to cut all of our work pieces. There, we've got a perfect fit and all the work pieces. Now all we need to do is apply a bead of glue, position the inlay, and then either secure it with tape or you could use a scrap piece of wood covered with packing tape as a clamping call to press it down. Once the glue is cured, all you need to do is scrape it or sand it so that the inlay is flush with the workpiece and you're ready to move on with your project. I hope you found this tip about installing inlay helpful. I'm Dan Carey with Woodworkers Journal.